Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go from December 29th through January 4th, 2020. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel all year long. It has been a phenomenal year. I'm looking forward to an even more successful um, year 2020, okay? Um, do know that this is a general message. It will not resonate with every Piscean who views the video, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Go over to the website, book your own reading there, or take advantage of the text to question reading. You can text the question to the number below. Um, you can pay for your question on your mobile device, receive an answer to your question via text on your mobile device. It just makes me more accessible to you and you accessible to me, okay? Uh, do know that this these messages are for entertainment purposes only. Do not make any life-altering changes from a general message. Get, it on, get your own personal private reading, okay? All right, Pisces, the Wheel of Fortune, very nice. It's how you come into the week. This is also, I think this is one of your rulers too, Jupiter. You guys are very lucky, you and Sag. Um, there could be some money coming to you. There's a beneficial change rolling around for you. The wheel is always turning for all of us. Do know that luck is on your side, but you don't get to control luck. Just know that good things are happening around you, for you. Maybe in the masses of other people. Maybe there is, um, you're in the spotlight. There's um, your reputation. Um, there's an air of fame about you. Or maybe someone else you're dealing with. Maybe some other masculine energy, okay? Uh, the advice this week from the cards is the princess of sword. Ask the necessary question, okay? Um, don't be in the blind or, or blind spotted or blindsided. Hmm. Someone's in your blind spot. This could be in regards to driving too. But something is in your blind spot. It's like um, you don't see it coming. You can't see it. Inquire. Ask questions. Be inquisitive. Try not to engage in gossip and rumor. Um, be willing to learn to expand, increase knowledge. Be anxious to learn. Be asking the probing questions. If you're not asking questions, then you're assuming, and we all know what that is, right? You're not getting definitive answers because you're not asking questions. Some of you fear the truth. The harshness in the truth. Hmm. If you take the advice of the cards, the outcome is the Ten of Swords. That's what I'm talking about. Some of you fear getting the truth because you know it's over. Or you fear giving the truth because you know it's done, it's over. This could be some masculine Piscean energy, or you're dealing with the masculine Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone who you've been, you have a family with, you, you've done some long, you've been with them long term, you've even fulfilled some long term goals with them. The energy has shifted though. Because at the bottom of the deck, we have the three of swords. There's an ending here. Some of you have been keeping the door open for somebody else to come back in, but it's about asking those questions. Are you still in love with me? Are you still available? Do you still think about me? Um, you know, or, or even looking or spying on, looking at their social media to know that, there's no possibility for you guys to come back together. You need to go ahead and do that. You need to let it burn is what I'm hearing. 
Be and you the need to forgive yourself and others here so that some other situation relationship can grow. You may even need to forgive siblings, family, neighbors. Maybe something about your upbringing. Maybe some Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You want to ask them some probing questions about your upbringing and early childhood learned behavior. What shaped you? What molded you? Um, there's an air of wanting to talk to, needing to talk to, to gather information, knowledge of self so that you can determine and you can end some mental turmoil. You can divorce this idea of separate from the idea of, yeah, some of you still could be definitely re be related to Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Libra, and Aquarius being highlighted. Gemini, a really interesting week. Um, something's coming to is the culmination of, and then the culmination might be the ending. Maybe so you can start anew. You know, um, if you feel like this resonated with you, go over to the website. Book your own personal reading there. Take advantage of the text to question. Text your question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Thank you, Pisces. Have a really good holiday. Happy New Year.